Hello guys, and today I'm going to be take, take a look at, at, at uh, Time Machine and how well it works over a, a network drive. So as you know, Time Machine is Apple's uh, backup solution on, on the Mac. Um, it can be done with one of three ways. It can have a plug-in a USB hard drive uh, into one of the USB ports or, or the uh, Thunderbolt port. Um, uh, and the second, second method is you use a airport time cap capsule that Apple sell for about 200, 300 quid depending on uh, how, how big a drive you want in your time capsule. And the third method is you say you already have a server or like me you've got a a map a map line around oh brilliant um you've got a map line around uh th this is a 2006 Mac Mini that I, yeah, that I use as a file server to st uh, to like, serve files to my iMac and obviously this laptop so what I've done I've created a, a shared folder on on the uh, drive in that called oh backup. Um, in that it creates uh, this what laptop has created a disk image, which I which I, I can then use to if I ever change this laptop, I could take this image and download it um, uh, onto um, the new laptop, preferably over, over Ethernet, so, so it's faster. But um, Wi-Fi would also work. Uh, now the speeds aren't aren't bad. Um, it's about I said about eighteen megabit upload, which which is about ten ten megabytes um, <laughs> ten megabytes upload as well. Um, yeah. Um, so it's it's not bad speed. Um, occasionally, um, I see about about. On eighty, in fact, is that it is one of the lowest speeds that I, I see. But usually, it's about four hundred me megabit, and that um, in in megabyte is fifty megabyte per, per second. So that's so that's not bad, considering uh, what um, or the fact that it's over over Wi-Fi to a two thousand six Mac Mini. So if we just do a backup now, uh, as, as you can see, it's, it's found, found in the backup disk. Um, also, as well, I've got a a a bandwidth uh, monitoring software called the uh, Bandwidth Plus. Um, uh, so that that will tell me the upload speed. So which yeah, here we go. It's going now. So as you can see, it's ten meg so far, but it gets into it. There we go. So it's so you see it's about a uh, sixty seventy meg um, speed. So it's, so it's when it's it sort of starts. So it's, see, we've got like a seventy meg, twenty one meg. So it's not it's not bad speed. It's not brilliant, but it's it's a fair bit slower than what you'd see over a, a USB drive, obviously. Gets wireless, but it doesn't take too long to. Um, you see, there was that 80 mega figure, figure I, I was talking about. Um, so it's not bad speed, although uh, as you can tell, the speeds aren't very uh, consistent. Although it is almost done. Um, so that that's that's a pretty handy. Um, this is a pretty handy feature to have as well. So because you don't have to have a uh, a drive, down with that, 
of your laptop so, so I could just easily pick this up and, and move it around and still back up. Um, when I'm on the move, I won't, I won't have to worry about having a uh, drive. And then obviously, as you know, if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to look at look at the, this back up, I, I, I could go back, um, like through all the other backups that I've got, and just um, find and, and just find the files that, that I need if I ever deleted them. Which obviously, as you can imagine, is a very, is a very handy feature in case you ever delete anything and you realise that that at some point in life you ever need it. Right, so thank you for watching this quick little video on uh, Time Machine and I'll see you in my next one.